Today we are chatting with one that I would call a computer wizard. Dennis Muhozi is a student of computer science from Busitema University and is awaiting graduation in October. He has developed a speech translation system application. This application translates English spoken texts into local languages like Runyankore, Luganda and Japadola. So let's chat away. How are you? Thanks for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I am host Dennis. I completed computer engineering course at Bustema University and currently I work with BeFriends as a software engineer. So I developed a speech translation system and that's why I decided to come and inspire the youth. Okay, when I was always moving around, I found it hard to interact with the youth, especially the young children who don't know English and yet for me I only know English, so I decided that if I can bridge the gap between the languages, it can be very good that I'm free to interact with each and every group of people. And even you as other people, we can be free. I speak to them, they speak to me, and that is good interaction and we can build up the nation as a youth. Okay, I started with the proposal in uh, November when I presented this proposal. Then after that, I started researching about how to do it I was inspired by some video tutorial of Microsoft where by the, in, in 2012 they translated from English to Chinese. Then I w said we also have to translate from English to Runyankore, which is my mother language. So that when I go home, I can speak to the youth in English and they hear me in Runyankore. And as of now, I'm making it to be like Runyankore to English. The, the dictionary of Rinyankore to English is still limited. How are you? Murumata. Thanks for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, Yeah, the whole development I started in Feb when I started serious work. Then on 20th April, that is when I finally like produce the first, they call it the minimum value product and showed it to my supervisor and they appreciated. Then I now considered it to be ready for output to the people to use it. Okay, this application runs on Windows environment and it has to be having .NET Framework 4.0 which is specifically found in 8, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. But for Windows 7, if you get .NET Framework 4.0, you install it, you begin using the application. And more so, this application can teach you to learn a language. Because you speak, it speaks you, then with time you get up and you learn how to pronounce the words. Safe journey. Okay, this app, there is a modium I added of, of Kiswahili, but it has only a few words, but it could teach like these students in secondary who find it hard to pronounce Kiswahili. It can be of vital importance, or us as youth, because since Kiswahili is going to be a national language, that module I'm going to include it so that a person as is in his free time, he speaks English, speaks Kiswahili, then with time, he becomes fluent in Kiswahili. Ladies and gentlemen, Land of Milk and Honey, Happy Birthday, Safe Journey. So far, English to Rinyankore, that was like the major, the main language. Then English to Samia, that one, it is a limited version because I made it for some church where I was going to address them. And uh, Runyankore to English, that one is still a limited version. I only put my introduction, like about me, 
So given a chance I can include like, I was planning to include speeches of various people which they have said so that they can be spoken to the youth. I enjoy app development because even the time when I'm free, like sometimes after the papers, as other people would think I'm stressed, me why to think is get my computer and develop some application. So my future development is this application has to be extended that people who, someone told me they always go for research and they find it hard to ask questions to the local people. So this app, I hope it will help in research, it will help in development, like people come to address the youth in the village about a new technology, it can help them. And uh, so that language barrier is no longer a problem that a person will say, I have no, I can't talk to this person because I don't know his language. And uh, currently I'm planning to include Windows Phone version. My last word to the youth, imagination is more important than knowledge. You first imagine, I would imagine this thing, I filled it with myself, I would feel I am alone and I just think, ah, how can I, I speak in English, I imagine it. Then finally it became a reality. So you are a youth, you think the life you're living in is hard, no it is not hard. Continue with it, you'll find that with time, that hard life will be simple life. Ladies and gentlemen, land of milk and honey, Happy birthday. Safe journey. Happy birthday. Pray for us. You are so beautiful. Let's get into the wacky and the dope. Today's Waki tag goes to the people out there that don't care about wildlife. Preservation of wildlife is good for the country and its citizens. And the dub tag goes to Dennis Mohozi, the software wizard. His speech translation innovation is exception, thus making it dope. Streets is watching. You are watching PM Live. And for our connect today, we are asking, do you think you need to know your mother tongue and why? Now for Lens Vivas, taking us in circles all over the world. My name is Lens Vivas. Welcome to World Over. The United States International University recently had property issues. They locked horns with a private investor over a piece of land, and their university students took to the streets to protest. The United States International University of Nairobi had their students and staff last week protest against what they say is grabbing of their land by a U.S.-based Kenyan private developer named George Kiongera. So they're either confused as to the physical location of their land or they are victims of a very cruel uh, conmanship. The land was in our possession from 1999. 
That's when we bought it. We bought it from the uh, East, ICA, ICA uh, which is the insurance company of East Africa, in 1999. They drastically slowed down traffic while they marched to Muthaiga police station to hand over their petition. Protesters marched through the streets, holding up signs that said, Take our land, take our future. The National Land Commission of Kenya wrote to the university asking them to present proper ownership documentation to prove that the school owns the 30-acre piece of land located in Nairobi. National Land Commission's chief executive officer, Tom Chavangi, gave the university a seven-day deadline to prove the ownership of the land. Nonetheless, the university students were protesting on behalf of the privately owned university. We asked the public if this was a valid protest or were the students naive? Well, uh, in this case, you can see that there are kind of two sides here. We are having the students, the education part of it all, and the private investor with his own selfish, I would say selfish reasons. Now, the investor assumes by taking this land, he's going to be making more money. The students, on the other hand, the reason as to why they, I do believe they are protesting is because they want to save their, I would call it heritage, or maybe their background. Imagine five years down the road and you say I'm from USIU and then when they ask where is that university and it's no longer existing. I don't really support it. I think the students should really concentrate on their academic issues on what brought them to the university and that is to study. So I, I, I believe the striking part wasn't really right. They should, that's, they should leave it to the administration just as Jesus said what belongs to to the kings has to be to the kings and what belongs to him has to be to him. So the students should know what took them to school is to study and to succeed. Yeah. In this case, the students have no right to participate in this riot because uh, this is not uh, part of their business. They came strictly to participate in academics. Uh, matters which do not concern them should be left for other, uh, the management perhaps, and also the stakeholders. My opinion is students and shouldn't get involved into that issue because they are just wasting time and instead of wasting their time they should invest it in their books to, to, be, to impact other youths and create that positive change in the society. Lens Vivas for World Over. Well, give yourself a pat on the back for joining us on the show. Join us again tomorrow for the very best of university affairs. I'm Brenda Kimbamazi.